Hello, Taurus, and welcome to your June 2019 monthly reading. This is for Taurus. What is going on with Taurus for June 2019? If this resonates with you, Taurus, please like, share, and subscribe and leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. If this doesn't resonate with you at all, Taurus, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign, as this will not resonate with every Taurus out there. Taurus, 2019. Please keep in mind that some of these energies can be vice versa or interchangeable, so however it resonates with you, this is for Taurus. This is for Taurus. What is going on with Taurus? What is going on with Taurus for June 2019? What is going on with Taurus? Okay. Okay, so I'm seeing a lot of secrets here. I'm seeing a lot of things hidden which cause an ending. All right. Um, got one, two, three, four major arcana here. Five, actually. So this is a big change for you, Taurus. Okay, this is a big change for you. Um, a lot of hidden emotions about this, a lot of hidden decisions, a lot of secrets here. Okay, hidden relationships, um, things not being out in the open with this Pisces moon here at the bottom of the deck. Um, I'm going to read the energies of the cards, but if the sign of the person that you are dealing with happens to show up or have dealt with, will be dealing with, you know, time is fluid. If their sign shows up, then all the better. Um, and keep in mind, some of the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. So I'm seeing an ending because somebody was lying and keeping secrets. I'm just going to be very blunt about this, okay? You are in healing mode in regards to this situation. Um, I feel like, you know, they may be trying to come back and trying to maybe manifest a new beginning with you, possibly. Um, but honestly, I'm seeing you move on from this situation. You're making a final decision to do that. Um, this was very dramatic for you. This was very hard for you. Okay, we have the Ten of Swords here. This is Air, Energy, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So this person, and then we have the seven of swords, right? All these swords. And you feel stabbed in the back. You feel betrayed because the seven of swords is known as the thief card. So this is somebody that is um, lying, um, stealing, miscommunicating, falsity here. So with these three here, Secrets, things that are hidden, keeping things secret, lying about secrets. It caused a lot of pain. It caused a lot of suffering for you, Taurus. You felt betrayed, stabbed in the back. It was a very painful ending for you. All right. So, right now, you are in hermit mode. Okay, this is Virgo energy. I don't think you've given up on love itself. I just feel like you're keeping it at bay for a while. You need a time out here for you. You need to really go inwards and think about things and process things and learn from this situation. All right? Um, you're trying to move forward here. You're trying to um, conquer this. You're trying to be victorious over this, but at the root of this reading, you are most definitely going inward and you're, you are feeling very withdrawn here. And um, 
could be a little bit of depression. I mean, when you go through this kind of energy right here, okay, you do, you, you know, you do need a time out to heal from that. Okay, so that's absolutely fine. I think in the recent past, you were kind of in limbo over this situation. You were just kind of, it was like a wait and see what happens. Um, you were very self-sacrificing in the situation. You were the hangman, right? It's almost like you were just... It's like your heart, your heart didn't want things to be true. You know, sometimes they say love is blind. Because I do see your head all lit up right there, you know. I still think you were hopeful about the situation, but it was a very self-sacrificing experience because you stayed in it maybe a little bit longer than you should have. In the near future, I feel like if this person does come towards you, they will be only offering breadcrumbs to you. And we'll get to that in a minute. But you are very um, defensive right now. Your walls are, are up right now. Um, trying to move forward, trying to manifest a new beginning. But you're still trying to process all this hurt and pain. So you're coming through in the near future as the wounded warrior. And that's absolutely fine. Sometimes it takes um, a while to get over a situation like that. So <clears throat> what you're looking for is a balance. You're looking for reciprocity in a situation, as is everyone, right? This equal um, give and take. Um, you're manifesting that. You want new beginnings. You, you want to make new things happen in your life. You're tired of dealing with the same old bullshit, lying, cheating, stealing, player types, okay? You're looking for something new. Like I said, you haven't given up on love. You're just reevaluating, right? Okay? Um, sometimes we wonder why we draw that energy to, to us. I have wondered that myself, <laughs> And I had to literally change my entire state of mind. Um, and it's and I'll be honest with you in how I did it, started practicing the law of attraction. I started saying what I did want. I started saying what I found attractive in others. These are the words that I was that I put in my head. And I spoke out loud. I want this type of person. Instead of saying, Oh, why are these players always all over me? That's attract. When you put that out in the universe, that attracts that exact energy. Okay. So you have to not only start thinking about the type of relationship that you truly want, but you also have to start speaking it. You also have to start visualizing it. Okay. And this is at what's crowning this reading you have to start drawing it to you so instead of saying you know <clears throat> complaining about past relationships or past boyfriends that is speaking that into existence and i am not joking about this so you wonder why you keep getting all the creeps it's because you keep talking about all the creeps you want something different start talking about something different Start getting something different in your head, right? That's how the law of attraction works. You speak things into existence. You visualize things into existence. You believe things into existence. That's how the law of attraction works. And this right here is a very strong law of attraction card. So we have the magician here, right? You've got all the tools to make this happen. When this pops out for somebody, this is telling me, that somebody out there is a very powerful manifester, to be quite honest, with you. You've got the sword for communication, the wand for passion, the cup for love, and the pinnacle for success here. You are gearing up to conquer this situation. You are gearing up for a victory. This is you, charging through, charging ahead, moving forward. You are healing and moving past this energy, and you're going to start manifesting the things that you actually want in your life. Right? 
So we have the chariot here. That's cancer energy. Now what's coming towards you is a more balanced situation. You want, you want reciprocity. Now this person here at the center of this reading, the liar, let's call this person, they may come back in and say, oh, things are great. Do you see? It's like just a little bit. Like giving a beggar some breadcrumbs, you know, or some pocket change. That's not what you're going for here. You're moving past that. You're moving past that. So what is going to be coming towards you after you go through this process and you start speaking what you want and thinking what you want and visualizing what you want into existence, right? I've done it. It works. Um, things are going to balance out for you. You see those Libra scales there? There's going to be a balance, a more balanced, equal relationship towards you that um, you are going to have, you know, they'll put the work in. You put the work in. You state your emotions. They'll state their emotions, right? They text you, you text them back. It's going to be equal. It's not, it's going to be easy. This is the kind of energy that won't lie to you, won't ghost you, won't steal from you, won't cheat on, you know what I mean? It's equal. You're coming from a level playing field here. Six of Pentacles, this is Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. In your hopes and fears, right? this patience. This planting the seeds, this watching this thing grow, wanting success here. Um, <clears throat> changing to this mindset, and I'm not even going to bullshit you here, Taurus. It does take time. It, it's, it's not the easiest thing to do. And starting to, you know, speak it, walk it, talk it. The things that you want in your life, it does take time. It does take nurturing. It does take growth. But I feel like you are prepared to tend that garden. Right, and you are prepared for the success, you are prepared to put in the work here. Now, in regards to this past situation, it's like there was so much time and effort put into that, and you didn't see any success. And I feel like that's an, a big disappointment to you. And I don't think you want to go through that again, and I don't think you will because you, you are completely switching your mindset here. In the outcome, we have the justice card. Now, again, this person, this liar, let's call him, may come in with some kind of breadcrumb apology, saying they've learned some sort of lesson. But um, I don't think you're buying it. I think you're on a completely different track here. And I think, you know, it's the justice card. It's like a final decision here for you. You want that balance. And I feel like maybe this whole situation is kind of a karmic lesson lesson for you in order to you in order for you to achieve a completely different mindset. You know how people say all I attract is assholes. Well, you say that, and guess what? All you're going to attract is assholes. So why don't you switch it and say all I attract is the most gorgeous people in my life. Guess what? Some of the most gorgeous people are going to start showing up in your life. It takes work. It takes effort. Yes, it does, but it does happen. So let's clarify this justice card for Taurus. Let's clarify the justice card for Taurus, which is a Libra energy, by the way. This is for June 2019. This is for Taurus. This is for Taurus. So um, you may be a little defensive for a while. You may be very guarded with your heart for a while, and that's fine. But you are ready to fight for what you want. This is somebody in the warrior's pose. If the liar, let's call this person, um, comes in, and keep in mind, all this can be vice versa, okay, um, does come back in to try to offer an apology, you're not having it, 
This is a blocked situation. You're moving on and you're fighting for a completely different situation here. You want balance. You want reciprocity. And, you know, this person may, from your past, may come back in and try to reconnect with you. But I really don't think you're having it. We have temperance here. I do feel like this is all about your healing and, again, finding that balance. Sagittarius right here. Lots of major arcana here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I think um, that Pisces moon. So, so that's seven. That is... Um, That's a lot of changes, and this is big for you. But it's catapulting you in a completely different mindset here. You're going to start, especially with this card, this powerful manifestation card, you're going to be going towards the things that you do want in your life. And that's a beautiful thing. You're healing from a, a terrible situation, somebody that really hurts you. All right, so... Let us see what the romance angels have to say. For Taurus for June 2019. This is for Taurus. What is going on with Taurus? What is going on with Taurus for June 2019? What is going on with Taurus for June 2019? Ooh. I think you're moving towards a serious situation here. This is the kind of energy that you want. This is what you're looking for. This is what you're manifesting. I don't think this has popped out in the monthly reading yet. Taurus, look at that. Right? And when you run into this situation, Taurus... This is what you're preparing for. All these past lessons that you have learned with all these, um, I'm going to say toxic people, they're preparing you for this situation right here. And when you do meet them and you do feel that connection, you are going to feel safe to let down these walls. It is safe for you to love, open your heart to give, and receive the highest energy of all. You're moving towards the real deal, and you're going to make that happen because you're manifesting that. Manifesting a soulmate. That is the title of this video, Taurus. This is absolutely gorgeous. This is a gorgeous reading. I am absolutely in love with this reading. Wow. And you deserve it, you know, after everything, after all the heartache and after all the pain that I'm seeing here, all the healing processes that you are doing, all these major changes, and you're charging ahead, and you're manifesting what you really want into your life, something real, something balanced. And this is it, Taurus, this is it. Look at that. That's amazing. That is absolutely amazing. Taurus. Congratulations, I should say. <laughs> I hope you have enjoyed your June 2019 monthly reading. I have enjoyed giving it to you. Um, I have put a tentative schedule up. Um, it's uh, on my Abouts tab uh, in my channel. And then it is in the description box of each video. This week is a little different because we had a holiday here in the States, but it will tell you when the lives are, and they usually run um, every day except Saturday around noon Eastern Standard Time, and then the schedule will tell you when your weekly reading will be um, posted for your sign, so check that out so you know what's coming and you know when to look for it, right? So that's cool. Um, next week, I'll be working on the June 2019 How Do They Feel About You readings. So keep an eye out for that. Got a lot coming towards you, Taurus. Um, I hope this resonates for some of you. You all take very good care of yourself and have a beautiful week. And I will talk to you soon. God bless.